welcome back to the channel. Jason Hoosier here with Hoosier Helpers. Today we're going to watch the VX gain a little bit of weight. Let's get started. So here's the weights. All I've done to them is washed them and dried them and I preheated them. They're basically, oh, probably about 100 degrees to the touch, um, but they were outside in 50 degrees. So wanted to warm them up just a little bit. I'm going to hit them with paint. So for paint, I went to Tractor Supply Company. You can see this is Alice Charmer's Orange, the Mack Tractor Truck and Implement Spray Paint. I used this on the Harrow, and it's a pretty close match. It should work fine for the, the BX there. So these are two 51 pound bowling weights that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And uh, you can see in the previous clip there that they were originally white. I painted them with uh, a little bit of this Massey or this Alice Charmer's orange. Should be pretty close. We're gonna get them mounted up to the wheels here and uh, give the old VX a little more ballast weight. All right, so the first thing that we've got to do is take our carriage bolts. And the carriage bolts that the wheel weights came with were these six inchers. I went ahead and bought a seven inch bolt because the six inch isn't going to be long enough for these wheels. So we're going to get them installed. I know based on the position of the relief for the valve stem that I'm going to use this hole and this one up here. So we're going to go ahead and put those in. And I'm going to use this spacer, it's just a little plastic spacer, because the square head of the carriage bolt goes through the hole in the wheel and sticks in there just a little bit, which won't give me enough room for the uh, nut to tighten down. I want, um, I want it to be snub whenever I put this in, so the alignment of the, the carriage bolt to the wheel weight holes won't be an issue. They'll be pointed straight out. So we'll get these spun up. I'm using galvanized uh, carriage bolts just because that's the only ones that the store had in the seven inch. I think a six and three quarter inch would have been a better choice because these are going to be sticking out right to the edge of the rim, um, which may present itself as a little bit of a snag, but I think it'll be all right. Snug. Little spacer on. The inside nuts I'm using are just a soft nut, not even a grade five, but it's just to hold it in place. Most likely these will come loose while just operating. Not a big deal because the outside nuts will hold it all together. This is just for assembly purposes. Feel pretty solid. We're gonna get this wheel weight on. Flat washer, lock washer, and that. Flat washer, lock washer, and that.
So I'm gonna go back and start working on the other side. There you have it. We have an extra 100 pounds on the BX. And keep in mind, these tires are filled with windshield washer fluid. Uh, I put eight gallons in each one. So that ended up being around 160 pounds in the tires. And this adds another 100 pounds. So that's <clears throat> 260 pounds on the back end. Plus, I add weight to the hitch a lot of times, and then I got a counterweight or the tiller or other heavy implements. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hoosier Helpers. Please remember to hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.